The original red jacket was brought to market in May of 2022 by KNZ Keys. These were manufactured by Athlon and featured both a nylon top and bottom housing along with a long pole palm stem. The OG red jacket originally had stem issues from the manufacturer making some of the switches feel and sound like silent switches or slightly mushy. With this issue, KNC Keys decided to change the manufacturers to Texi in a second variant. They also changed switch materials to the top and bottom housing being UC nylon and the stem keeping its long pole figure but changing to HPE. Again, KNC Keys faced manufacturing problems with the second variant of the red jacket. This problem made the switches too tight in a variety of switch plates. The same issue we saw in the Tofu switch. This was a larger issue that Texi had across multiple switches that eventually came to be fixed. Now we reach the Red Jacket Redux V1 switches. These are a nod to the OG Red Jacket and the manufacturer has been switched back to Athlon, this time with no issue in tow, which is great news for all of us long pole linear fans in the community because these switches truly do sound and feel great. Before we return our attention to the Red Jacket Redux switch, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, as it would greatly be appreciated. Red Jacket Redux V1 switches come to us with a vibrant red top and bottom housing with a black stem. These switches consist of a nylon bottom housing, nylon top housing, a 13.5 millimeter palm stem, and a 63.5 gram double stage spring, and of course they are pre-lubed from the factory. Before we hear these switches, I would like you to keep in mind that I've been keeping the mode Envoy I use in sound test built exactly the same for all my switch reviews, so you can easily compare switch sounds from review to review. I would also like to put a short disclaimer. These switches were sent to me for review, however my opinions are unbiased, my own, and based on my genuine experience with the switch. On to the sound test. Let's get to what I like to call the perks and the quirks. Let's first start with the perks. These switches do feel and sound great. I would categorize these as a high pitch clacky switch that has a slight scratch to them. They're for sure not the smoothest switch. However, the factory lube is great and I do not feel or hear any weird noises coming from the springs or leaves. I would compare their smoothness level to a broken in Cherry MX Black if you felt that before. So if you like that slight scratchy feedback, you would also like the feel of the switch. Now for the quirks, personally, I would say overall they're a great switch without any quirks, which is great since KNC keys did have issues in the past, or shall I say the manufacturer had issues. I think the only thing I could see people not enjoying is either the slight scratch or possibly them being too loud, which at the end of the day comes down to personal preference. The key here is preference. I mentioned this in all of my switch reviews. If you like a super smooth switch that isn't as loud, I would not recommend these, as they are slight scratchy and they are on the loud end. With more and more switches dropping below that 60 cent mark, I would recommend these if you're looking for a long pole clacky switch. At 55 cents a switch, they are very competitive in what I would say is the mid-tier price range of the current market. I hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more future reviews. Oh, and before you go, check out these two switch reviews I've done recently. As always, have a good day and week. Bokeh Bob out.